hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners in the last video we have seen how to configure and install java jdk which was a prerequisite to install android studio now in this video we will see how we can download and install android studio itself and we will also see how we can configure our first application using android studio so first of all open your favorite browser and search for android studio and uh, most probably the first link you will see here is from developer.android.com slash tool slash studio and click this link and in here you will be able to see somewhere the download link so this is the download link Down download android studio now i will click this link here and in here uh, there will be a download button download android studio for windows just click this link and here you will be able to see some uh, license terms and condition you need to agree to download android studio so just click this link and click download and save the file now this is a relatively uh, big file i think it's about uh, 828 MB so it will take some time to download so just sit back relax and you know grab a cup of tea while downloading this and once this is uh, downloaded I will show you how you can install and configure Android Studio so download is complete now so we are going to run this executable file for Android Studio and I'm going to minimize everything so we can see clearly so now Android Studio executable file is running and ask for the authentication click yes and now the setup will start just click next click next agree with the license and condition in order to install and this is the location which is default location where Android Studio will be installed and this will be lo the location for the Android SDK folder so just uh, make a note of this this we are going to need if some problem occurs related to SDK so click next and click install and the installation will start and it will finish in few seconds so it's not a very lengthy process it will complete in few seconds you can see here as it's complete we are going to configure the SDK so now our Android Studio setup has been successfully completed we just need to click the next button and then it will uh, prompt you to start Android Studio so just uncheck this button or this checkbox for now and click finish so now our Android Studio setup has been completed. Now what we need to do is if you are on, on Windows 8, you just need to search for Android Studio. Or if you are on Windows 7, you just need to click the start button and just right click on Android Studio and run as administrator okay so just run uh, right click on android studio and run android studio as an administrator so just run as administrator and now it will start android studio so android studio for this first time it will ask for the import if you have a previous version of android studio it will ask if you want to import your previous uh, android studio settings 
or otherwise if you don't have you just need to go with the default value and click OK and Android Studio now is going to start Android Studio is uh, IntelliJ based IDE IntelliJ is a very famous uh, you know company or you can say for developing uh, IDEs so they have uh, very good IDEs for developing Java Python C++ and many other applications so Android Studio is uh, developed by developed by IntelliJ and right now our Android Studio setup is downloading the Android SDK tools this is a one-time uh, process so don't worry every time you uh, run Android Studio it, will, it is not going to do this this is just for the first time Android Studio is going to uh, download these SDK tools so I will wait for uh, these tools to download so everything is successfully done now now we just need to click finish and this is for the first time whenever you uh, start Android Studio for the first time you will see the interface like this now before creating uh, the first application we need to configure SDK or uh, some packages so you just need to go to this option called configure and then you just need to click SDK manager and it will open SDK manager and in here some of the packages uh, you will see uh, you can install and some of the packages are optional so you don't need to install each and every packages you just need to uh, install whatever packages you can see here so right now install nine packages you just need to click this button but additionally make sure that you just go down and in the extras uh, category here the last category will be the extras category and the last option I think will be this Intel x86 emulator accelerator and in short it's called HAXM installer this is the emulator we are going to use to uh, run our Android app okay so just check this checkbox and we are we will be done right so you just need to click one option here which is Intel x86 emulator accelerator now in my case it's already installed if it's not installed then you need to install it okay so just uh, check this checkbox if uh, this is not installed right and now just click install nine packages or whatever number of packages it will show here okay and now you need to confirm and accept licenses just accept and click install and it's going to install all these packages and once uh, these packages uh, installs we will be ready to open or create our first application so now the download of these packages are complete so I'm going to just close this and now we are ready to run our first Android application so 